Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm gonna show you guys the first three chords that I ever learned to play on guitar. The chords I'm talking about are the D chord, the A chord, and the E chord. And each in their first position or at least their most used position. Now don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how to play these chords. But first you should know that I've done a whole list for practically all the basic chords on guitar, which includes these three as well. In these videos, I give multiple ways and finger positions to play these chords. So if you're interested, you can check out my tutorial playlist right above here or in the description down below. Now, let's start with the D chord. We start by placing our middle finger on the second fret of the first string. Then we add our ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And then finally, we add our index finger on the second fret of the third string. And then we play the four lower strings, which sounds like this. And is a D chord. After that, we have the A chord. So we reposition our fingers and we will place all three of them right underneath each other on the second, third and fourth string. And then we play the five lower strings. And then we have the A chord. And then finally we have to go to the E chord for which we place our index finger on the first fret of the third string, like this. And then we place our ring finger and middle finger on the second fret of the fourth and fifth string, like this. And then we play all the strings, which is the E chord. Now why these three chords specifically? It was actually not some strategic way or so to learn better how to play the guitar. I wanted to learn how to play a song that wasn't too complicated. And that song had those three chords in it for the majority of the time. So that's why. My dad did some research for these chords on guitar. As he himself plays the piano but not the guitar. Looking back, these three chords were actually pretty good for a beginner to start off with, in my opinion. They're not too hard when it comes to positioning but they're different enough so that you can learn how to switch between different chords and positions. They're also all major chords, so very basic, which is good as you probably are also a beginner if you watch this. Now it's time to practice and that takes time. First, go very slowly. Take your time to put your fingers in the right position for the D chord, then play the required strings. You can do this with your thumb or with a plectrum if you have one of those, or you can even use a small coin or so. Now if you don't have a plectrum, you can actually buy those very cheap, like for half a dollar or half a euro uh, per plectrum, so really cheap. After you're able to play the chord clean, patiently reposition your fingers for the next chord, in this case being the A chord. If you're ready, play the required strings again until you can play this chord clean. Finally, switch positions for the E chord and do the same thing. Now, if you've done this one time, repeat it again and again and again. And each time, try to reduce the time in between the chords until you're able to play all the three chords fluently and clean one after another. Now, if you've mastered this, you're not ready yet to play a song, as one strum of each chord is not enough. We need to learn how to strum our guitar and give rhythm to our chords. I do recommend for you to use a plectrum for this though, as it will be easier to play the strings like that. Otherwise, there are multiple techniques in which you can play chords without a plectrum, but it's more difficult, I think. And regarding a plectrum, next week I'm gonna show you how to hold your plectrum. And so we're ready to strum our chords properly. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.
that I've done a, that I've done that I've done a list of practically and finger positions. So if you're interested, you can check out my. So if you're interested, for that chord we start. For that chord we start. So we reap, and we have, and we will place all, and we will, and we will, for which we place our index finger on the. S now why these chords specific? They're not too hard. Now start very slowly. First go first go very slowly. First go very slowly. Then play the require then play the required string. Then play the require You can do this with your thumb or with the flip or with or you can do or you can even use a small coin of set. Or you can do or you can use a, or you can even use if you're ready, play the Finally, switch position fluently and smoothly. And every, we need to learn how to. I, I do recommend you, as it will. I do. I do recommend. I do recommend for you. For, I do recommend for you. I do recommend for you using. And so we're ready. And so we're ready to strum our chords. And so we're ready to strum our chords. And so we're ready to strum our chords properly. And so we're ready to strum our chords. So.